Now on the flood of immigrants going through an unofficial border crossing in New York's North Country. The people seeking an easier path to asylum in Canada are back in the headlines after words of bus loads being sent from New York City. Catherine Huntley spoke with the immigrants at the Roxham Road crossing. She's back now with a look at the effect those bus loads have across the border in Canada. Catherine. News broke this week that asylum seekers are getting free one-way tickets from New York City to Plattsburgh so they can have access to a small, an unofficial small border point called Roxham Road. A Canadian refugee center says last year was a record year of asylum seekers in Canada, and thankfully they haven't seen a spike from these free bus tickets yet. Roxham Road, a small unofficial border point in Champlain, New York, has seen tens of thousands of people crossing into Canada over the past few years. So you're under arrest for illegal entry to Canada. People like this Afghan family we met yesterday who fled oppression in their homeland and are seeking political asylum. Most crossing here hope for an easier path to legal immigration status than they can find in the overburdened U.S. immigration system. They are human beings and they need to be treated like a human. Lolly Rico is the executive director of the FCJ Refugee Center based in Ontario. They help refugee, clemency, and asylum seekers find their way to temporary and permanent housing once they come into Canada. Canadian authorities are increasingly troubled by the number of refugees crossing the border, and Rico is concerned about reports of a coordinated effort in New York City to buy refugees bus tickets to Plattsburgh, where they are left to find their way to the border 30 miles farther north. If someone is taking advantage of them, to send them to the places because when they go to Plattsburgh, they need to pay for a taxi. There is a lot of uh, unscrupulous persons that they take advantage, they charge to them. She says it's wrong to give the asylum seekers very little information about the process and instead hand them a bus ticket. We caught up with two people from Venezuela who actually lived in Montreal for a couple of months but decided to come back to New York to live in the U.S. instead. Si es verdad que dicen que Canadá es un país Yes, it's true that Canada is a pro-immigrant country and they help you, but it's a slow process, it's a depressing process. And we arrived at a bad time, we're at a bad time in the winter, and even the Canadians would tell us that it's much more difficult. Rico says that this couple is an outlier. Usually people coming to Canada want to stay. Rico herself came to Canada 30 years ago from El Salvador seeking a better life for her and her family. The winter really impacts you, but we stay and, and with my children and everything to and to be working in here in Canada because it's a safe place. And what the majority of refugee claimants are looking is that we are looking for a safety place for us and for our children. Rico said that it's concerning to see so many people come across Roxham Road, and there is concern about the capacity to help so many refugees. She hopes the borders can be open so that people will not have to cross places like Roxham Road anymore. Darren? Well, Catherine, the busing of immigrants from New York has gotten a lot of attention in recent days. What more can you tell us about that? New York and other Northeast cities have been receiving busloads of immigrants sent by governors in the southern border states. So some critics have seized on the idea that New York is passing on the problem by sending them northward. But Mayor Eric Adams denies there is a coordinated effort to send the migrants to Canada. We're sitting down, giving them health care, education, food, shelter, but we're also asking them, what are your desires? What do you want to do? Some stayed here. Overwhelmingly, uh, the numbers stayed here. But there were those that wanted to go to other locations throughout this country, and that is what we're doing. That's the right thing to do. Mayor Adams also denies the city is buying the bus tickets. He points to nonprofit agencies like Catholic Charities that have been aiding immigrant families. Darren and Kat. Thank you, Catherine.